Hello, welcome to the Forge tutorial view hubs with .NET Core. My name is Augusto Gonçalves and I'm a Forge advocate at Autodesk. Today's training is available at learnforge.autodesk.io. You can follow that online. The goal of today's training is to create an application where you can sign in with your Autodesk account, see all your accounts, see your projects, select a folder, a file, and see that file on the viewer. We'll be covering the following topics, setup, create server and OAuth basics, list hubs, projects and user information, and finally how to show that model on the viewer. Let's start with the basic setup. We need to create a Forge account and create a Forge application. We also need to install Visual Studio Community 2019 and select ASP.NET Web Development and .NET Desktop Development. So let's see that in action, we have to follow this, the, the create account and install the software. Let's see a live demo of that. So first I go to forge.autodesk.com and I'm going to sign in with my account. If this is the first time I'm signing in, I should see my list of applications as this is the first time I don't have any application. So let me create an application. I can see that all the services are selected. So let me select Forge Tutorial. My first app. And all of our samples use the same callback URL. API Forge callback off and click create. Now I have my application created. Next, I need to install Visual Studio 2019. So go to visualstudio.microsoft.com and uh, Go to download community 2019, click here and follow the steps to install. Once you finish, you should have Visual Studio installed like this. When you started, you should see an interface like that. This list should be empty, but we are going to select continue without code. That's it. Now you have Visual Studio installed. We should have now our Forge account and app created, and we should also have the IDE installed. The application should look like this, and you should have Visual Studio installed like that. Now let's create our server in OAuth. We go to, we're going to create a, a new .NET Core application, select set up the environment variables, create the startup.cs, of controller with authentication code. We are following the follow we are implementing the following steps on the tutorial, create a server and authenticate. Let's see a live demo of those sections. Just to make it easier, let me resize here and also resize here. As I said, the tutorial is available at learnforge.autodesk.io. We are going to create a server and we are going to select .NET Core. The first step is to create a new project, file new, file new project. And if we select C Sharp and Cloud, uh, ASP.NET Core should be the first on the list. And let's click Next. Here we have our list of applications. Let's call it Forge Tutorial and click Create. So we are going to select .NET Core, ASP.NET Core 3.1. We are going to unselect HTTPS and hit Create. Next, we have to install the Autodesk Forge uh, NuGet package. So let's 
go to here and right click on our project go to manage NuGet packages and uh, browse for Autodesk Forge go to browse and select Autodesk Forge and should we rescale this we should see the install click OK let me resize this we also have to install the Microsoft JSON package. We are going to use it. Let me copy here and uh, paste and search for it. Click select the one here and install. Moving next. Oh, click OK and accept. We have to uh, add a few environment variables. So let's go back to the Solution Explorer. Right click and go to Properties and go to Debug we should see something like this let's go to asp.net core URL and add like this and that's our standard just to help reuse our samples get the Forge client ID and paste in here now we go back to the Forge application we just created and copy the client ID from here and paste and add the next one which is the Forge client secret and click here go back to forge website copy the id the secret and paste uh, we also need the callback url that we use the same on all of our samples so that's the one we have on the tutorial that should match the one we have on our website it should be exactly the same let me paste in here and that's it let me save uh, one more thing let's change this to 3000 that's the port we're using let's save it now go back to our tutorial uh, we have completed all those steps the interface and this, the variable should look like we see on the screen next we go to the startup.cs and uh, add this missing namespace and uh, replace the content of the startup.cs with the one provided on the same on the tutorial we are just adding support for uh, .NET Core the version we want and also Newton Soft and like in here at the bottom we are adding support for static files those are the, the files that will be HTML and CSS on our application next we go to authorize we can click on next section select.net core or go to the left menu and select.net core it says to create a folder named controllers so we let me save again we say right click add new folder and let's name it controllers inside that folder create a OAuth controller.cs so right click add new controller we select uh, API controller empty and click add that's the name of controller is already there and add and uh, we should add this content so this file is just creating the endpoint to expose the token for the viewer and uh, doing the sign out and the authentication sign in and also handling the callback from Forge and this is exposing the client ID in case we want to provision with BIM360 and those are the credentials and how to refresh the credentials when it's, once it's expired remember that the credential will expire after a few, uh, few minutes uh, and so this code will handle that part so let me copy this go back to our code here and paste that should be the first step next we go to list hubs and projects and ah, that should be the next section let me go back to our demonstration so at this point we should have the project created with server setup and we should also have the OAuth code next we are going to list projects and files and user information for this section we are going to create a data management controller to list hubs projects and files and create the user controller to return the user information we are following the list hubs and projects section on the tutorial let's see let that part in action let me switch back to my application we can go to list hubs and projects 
This is going to explain that I have hubs, projects, items, folders, and versions. And essentially, in the end, the file is stored on OSS, which is the storage from Forge for Forge. And uh, we are going to select .NET Core. And it says to create a data management controller inside our controller folder. So let's right click here, add a new controller. Again, API controller empty and click add. And let's name it data management and click add. And that's the file we need. This is actually just the basic skeleton for that file. If we scroll down, we have the next step, which is the one that is uh, really important because this is going to return all the hubs, return all the projects, and then uh, contents of each project, the contents of each folder, and at the bottom, the items, the versions of for, uh, for the items. And this is preparing the file for to be, to be visible at the tree view we have, we will have on the left. So let me copy this and uh, scroll down to the end of this file and paste it here. And that should be our, da our, our data management file. Sorry, didn't copy the right one. We go back here, actually copy this one, right? The second piece and uh, paste. Now that's, that's the correct one. Let's save it. Now we should have the data management file ready. We can go to the user information section. Again, select .NET Core. Now we're going to create a user controller.cs. Go back to our controllers and click add new controller. API controller empty and click add. We're going to call it user controller and hit add. So this is just returning the profile information. Uh, in this case, it's the username and profile picture. So let's copy and uh, paste in here. So that's our user information profile. At this, the next session is about the viewer, which is the client side. But here we should be able to re to build our project, and it should build without without any any error message, just with a succeed. So at this point, you should have a, uh, the code to list projects and the code to list uh, user information. Last is how to show on the viewer. We are going to create the HTML, which is the main file for our application, the CSS that def defines the formatting, and finally the JavaScript code to view the viewer and to launch the viewer, and the forest tree to show the uh, to show the objects on my application. We are following. Uh, we are following the last section of our tutorial. Let's see a live demo of that. Now we are on the show on viewer. We are going to select .NET Core and it says to create a www root folder with CSS and JS file inside that. So right click here, right click on our project, sorry, and go to new folder and let's type it www root you see that the icon will change because this is a default folder inside .NET Core. And inside that folder, create a new CSS and a new JS folder. This is just to organize our code, just the best practice. The files inside here are going to create on the next step. Let's click Next. It says to create a new index.html file with this content. So let me copy this. And that's our main file. Let's go to W root and add a new item. We are going to select the index HTML page and let's call it index.html. It will come with a empty content. Let's replace with ours. That's the main page with the formatting of the page. Moving next, we have to create the main.css and go to copy to clipboard here. Go back to our project inside CSS and add a new item. And we are going to select a style sheet on this list. Just get this one here. Style sheet. And let's call it main.css and replace with our content. Let's save it. 
Next is the forestry. That's the file that will show all the hubs, projects, folders and items and versions on the tree on the left. Let's copy, go back to our code inside the JS, add a new item and select JavaScript file and name it forge tree and paste our content here. Last, that's the one that will show the viewer and initialize the viewer. So this is just creating a viewer uh, on our page and then loading the document that we are specifying. So let's right click, add new item and again select JavaScript and let's call it Forge Viewer and hit add. And finally paste. Let's save it again. And that should complete uh, the steps on the code. We can now run our, our application and see it running. So if you're using .NET Core, we just hit play. So display here. You may want to change the web browser if in case you want, and then hit play. And that should open the browser with our application here. Let me expand it. Let me refresh it. Just because I had some cache on my application, right? So let me refresh and uh, click sign in. That will go to the uh, uh, page on the uh, Autodesk for to on, on Autodesk to authenticate the user. Let's hit allow, and that's going to show the hubs that I have on my account. As this was a very new account, I don't have anything. So let me sign off from this account and. Uh, Click sign in again and use a different account that I know that I have some data on that account. Remember, I'm seeing the user data in case this user. So I need to sign in with that user in, in order to see his information, right? The information from this user. Again, I need permission. And now I should see all the projects, all the accounts that I have. I can expand one of my hubs. And inside that hub, I see projects. I go to one of my projects and I can navigate uh, to one of my files, let's say uh, this one. And I can see that I have several versions, click on a version, and I can see that file on the viewer right here. So we just finished running the app. So you may need some sample models or applications to run your, run your model. Uh, in case you don't have a, a, a hub yet, you can create a BIM360 hub or create an A360 hub to see it. In that case, I was using one of my A360 hubs. Uh, so, and we did a live demo on how to run it. If you need additional support, you can go to Stack Overflow and use one of our tags, our Desk Forge viewer, and that uh, will go to our team for support. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. That was the training with how to view hubs with .NET Core.